Hey guys, welcome to Wicked Manny. Today we're going to do something super, super simple. We're going to do an autumn dotacure. If you've never heard of a dotacure, it's what it sounds like. It's literally just putting a bunch of dots on your nails in some kind of pattern so that you have some very easy nail art that adds some variety to your nails without having to purchase a whole lot of equipment. Now some of you might feel um, a little intimidated by nail stamping or some of the other nail techniques that are out there. This one is so, so easy. It's a great place to start if you've never done nail art. So I will show you how this is done. Now I am starting with a brown hollow base coat. This is a shade from Bee's Knees Lacquer called The Devil. It's from their tarot collection, if you're wondering why it's called The Devil. So, you can use any shade that you want for this. This is just the shade that I used. And then I am using an assortment of golds and oranges so that it looks autumn-y. There's also some black. So, again, you can use any colors that you like. I will include the ones that I used below, so you can mimic this if you would like to, exactly. However, it's not required. That's the beauty of the Dottacure. You can just kind of do whatever you want. Now, I will be using a dotting tool in this after I draw these black stripes I'm going to do. And you don't have to use dotting tools if you don't want to. They are pretty inexpensive on Amazon. I'll put one below. Um... If you don't want to purchase them though, you could use toothpicks to do tiny dots, you could use the end of a paintbrush to also make dots, or you can use those push pins that have, or not push pins, the like pins that you use for sewing that have like the ball on the end. You can use those too. I've also seen people do that. I have never tried, but those are options if you are trying to save some money. Okay, all I did here was paint some black stripes with a paintbrush. You can skip this part if you don't want to do it. If you want to make straight lines, which really doesn't matter because you're going to put dots on it, but if you want them to be straight, you can use some scotch tape. Yep. However, just make sure your nail polish that you're using for your base is completely dry before you put on the scotch tape. Otherwise, you're going to, uh, you're gonna have a bad day. Now, what we're going to do is get out our dotting tool or whatever piece of equipment you're going to use for your dotting tool. You are going to put some nail polish on the end, and then you are just going to make dots all over your nails. That's really all there is to this. You just make dots wherever you like, over and over again in different colors, or you can do them all in one color if you want to. But I use different colors, so this had more of an autumn leaf feel, you know, as, as one does. So you're just going to dot this over and over and over again till you have your desired pattern. So... One thing I will mention, if you do the dotting tool set, like I'm going to link below, um, it comes with a bunch of different sizes of tools. I think there's like six total, and each one has like a different size on the end, so you get like 12 or something. And this will allow you to vary the sizes a bunch if you want to. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. So typically what I do here is I do one color at a time. I will put some of the polish on something I can easily throw away that won't absorb the polish, like a yogurt lid or piece of saran wrap or parchment paper, whatever it happens to be, to just have a little pool of nail polish to dot in. It's much easier than having to take the nail polish brush out of the bottle and put the polish onto the, the tool over and over and over again. It just makes it a little easier. So one color at a time, and then you just layer them. That's, that's it. That's all there is to this. Just making dots, guys. Just dotting the day away. And we're done. Like, it's, it's that easy, really. So once you're done, though, please use a no smudge top coat or wait for this to completely dry. Otherwise, your dots will smudge. And you don't want that. Like, it's, it's not good. Then you got to start all over. It's a bad time. All right. So that's all there is to it, guys. Uh, if you liked this video, please thumbs up and comment below. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week. Bye.